Okay. A lot of two land starts. <laughs> Not sure why. Swamp. Yep, start here. Two swamps. Hunt for specimens. Okay. Some truly control action. Maybe a uh, Sedgemore Witch. Green is fine. Adversary on two. Third land by the opponent into Skullport Merchant. Okay. Well, it doesn't really brick wall our Death Toucher. We can still push through damage. Let's see how they want to block. Probably just take two here. Yeah. Drop the adversary. Next turn, Chariot. After that, lull. Our play pattern is pretty straightforward. We'll see if we get a Massacre in here somewhere. Sciences. Yeah, we'll see. Blood in the Snow. We play pretty well around that. If we go Chariot, then they sweep. We play Lolth, power up the Chariot. It's a pretty good sequence. Okay, Infernal Grasp. That implies they don't have a Sweeper yet. Otherwise, you'd think they just wait a little bit. They attack us. Not sure what that implies. Play Chariot after combat. Okay, here comes Chariot. We'll start thinking about them holding up two mana. Um, if possible, we'll try to save the Chariot from an Infernal Grasp, although it may not be possible. Okay, two attackers. My turn. They hold open a lot of open mana. Pretty suspicious. I do not think we power up the Chariot into this. Uh, we instead attack. See how they want to block, and maybe drop Lolth after. We have Infernal Grasp if we need it to. Okay. Let's see if they block here. Ideally, we can get a Lolth down without uh, needing to defend it super well. They want to double block there. They want a single block there. Okay, sure. Do it like this. We'll lose one of our cats. Um, I think we're fine losing a cat here. We could Infernal Grass the Merchant. Daily Dispute, okay. Containment Breach, Artifact or Enchantment. All right, they now have the answer, that's fine. Opponents reloaded. Expect some sweepers coming. They may also sack the pest token to the merchant. They do not. Interesting. That means they have more mana open, I guess. Alright. Well, we played around that as best we could. Looks like they're going to spend their entire turn on Containment Breach. Okay, the dispute again. Okay, opponent has completely restocked. We've got an artifact, a planeswalker, and several creatures. It might take more than one turn for them to work through all this. Other than that, though, we're out of gas. Opponent with a full hand here. Okay, they choose to spend three of their mana on the chariot. Goes down. Three mana left. How do they want to spend it? We'll get some good attacks this turn, it looks like. Another merchant. Okay. Infernal target. More land, not what you want to see here. Let's take our free draw first. Soren's pretty good. Alright, here the squad comes. We're gonna get in for some good damage. Drop another planeswalker. It's a lot for the opponent to deal with at once. If they want to blood on the snow, they'll have to choose between um planeswalkers and creatures. Down to nine. Here comes a vampire. Take the dispute. They dig for answers. They don't have it currently. I guess that means looking for land masker to clear this out. Then attack down. Nope, just up twitch. Okay. Hunt for specimens. They're buying more time here. We'd love a creature land. Confront the pass. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Hmm. Start with a plus. Sure. Reveal. Um. Yeah, we can we can draw here. I think. Okay. Fine. Um. Here they come. We'll have a giant adversary on the way back. We we'll have to think if we want to deploy it or not. It's a great board rebuild.
Temple block there. Okay. Man, it's really interesting because they want to confront the past. They also want a mascot. They also probably want to sweep the board. The adversary is just a huge board rebuild. Do we deploy it now or not? It's a question. I think they want to sweep the board here and buy more time. So I think we don't play into it. I don't think so. I really wish we had a creature land. If we had a creature land, we could totally deploy this now. But out of our four creature lands in the deck, we didn't hit them. I think they're going to sweep the board here. I think they have to have Blood on the Snow or Meadow Massacre by now. They scoop. Okay. Well, they didn't know what we had in the tank, but tried to play that as best we could. Not amazing. We can keep this, I think. I think we'll play this. Just make sure we hit that fourth land for Chariot. We have the green in the uh, pathway here. Gold Towns. All right. Let's see what we're up against. Drop you. Nothing on turn two or turn one. A little bit of a slow start for us. When it gets in there for one. Down to 19. Okay, do nothing. Yeah, I mean... I think we're dropping the tracker this turn. Seems like I might die, but that's fine. The joy of this card. What is... I guess layer of the Hydra's holding stick. Let's see if we get a little Dragon's Fire here. Okay, opponent giving us the rope for nothing. No Dragon's Fire, no removal. Nothing on turn two. We're going to have a great turn uh, four ahead of us. Professional Face Breaker. Okay. Menace. They get a treasure token. Wow. Well, that's kind of an issue. Another gold hound. They're ramping into something. I don't know if it's just gold span. I don't know. Okay. Attack first, deploy chariot after, I think is the plan here. Get in there. It's nice to have vigilance. Should have pretty good blocks this turn. Here comes the chariot. Okay, opponent with a lot of menace creatures. Let's see what they want to do with them this turn. They may uh, attack all and um, try to face break. I don't know. Maybe tap a gold a gold hound, spam a, a gold span dragon. Yep, they go straight for the gold span. Okay. They're gonna have a ton of treasure. Pretty explosive start by the opponent. Okay. Pass to attackers. Just the gold span. No one's got reach. Make some treasure. Down to 14. A lot of treasure by the opponent. A Magda. Okay. Sure. We got our work cut out for us here. Okay. Opponent struggled to figure that out. Took a little while to uh, get that going. Yep, take action. Where green is fine. I think we only have one green. Well, it's going to be a little bit tough. I guess that helps a little bit. It's going to come intact. Get in with you. Okay. I think we drop second chariot here. A lot of cat tokens end here. Would love a ran off the top. Two attackers. Just gold span. Sure. No ability to block it yet. Two blockers. Down to 10. The clock continues. We're going to have a good crack back this turn. One with a lot of treasure, a lot of abilities to draw cards. 
They have their own chariot. Wow. Okay. That's why green is in the deck. Whew. All right. My turn. We didn't quite need that, but it does allow uh, a 3-3 three, three to get in this turn. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Forest comes in. I think we're getting in there this turn. We gotta see if we can put some pressure on them. Make a blocker. Okay, they crew get a treasure. Okay, take an easy block there. Take an easy block there. Chump block there. Trade there. Okay, they're gonna block differently. They think they can win on the way back. Totally possible. Okay. Slowest opponent I've ever played. <laughs> Let's see if they have us on the crack back here. Opponent drops to four. End here. We have two blockers. Interesting. I don't know if that's what I would have done. I think I would have dug for cards off the top. Oh, okay. That gives someone haste, though. Is that enough? Wow. Okay, they get the dragon. If they have another gold spend, that's just it, right? That's 10 damage in the air. We have no flying blockers. Yep, they just put the counters on the gold span, and then that's it. There you go. Well, we're going to need some land. But uh, we can start with this. <laughs> All right. Start here. We're in 26 land. 24 plus 2 Hagramolings. Okay. Get an underdog out. Still gonna need more land. Got one more turn of two drops ahead of us. Okay, immediately goes down. Exiled. It's fine. We hit a land. It is a tap land, sadly. It's okay. Better than nothing. Archon of Amiria. Not more than one spell each turn. Okay. That's fine by me. We're we trading with this guy. Um, we can see if they want to take the trade. I don't know. Otherwise, uh, next turn we want to chariot anyway. Yeah, let's try to clear out as much as possible for the chariot. Okay, it's damage. They take it. Sure. Drop you. Well, this will be an interesting little control deck we're up against. Our kind of Amiria. Not more than one spell each turn. Non-basic lands. Enter the battlefield tapped for me. Field of Ruin, okay. Gas, yeah, super controlly, okay. Interesting. Well, here comes the Chariot this turn. Only one spell each turn, that's fine. Probably gonna see some removal here. Another, Maybe another Vanishing Verse. Take the block there, okay. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll take second green. Have third green in hand anyway. Okay. A little bit strange. I think we're going to drop the chariot this turn and the war chief next turn. One spell per turn, so long as the Amir is out. Hasn't really like come into play. Um, kind of curious to see if this impacts us at all this game. Snow, looking at a blood on the snow. Yep, here it is. Okay, that's fine. We got War Chief and a Chariot next turn. I'm trying not the War Chief over Ren and Seven, because I think it's gonna. Um... Could 
because I think uh, it's going to stabilize a lot better against um, Boros Aggro, which is all over the place. Because you play Ren in 7, you get the token, and they just Cathar your token, and you're screwed, and they kill Ren anyway. But I'm really curious to see how this Blitz works on the um, this guy here. Alright, we only get one spell per turn still. Unless we uh, Blood Chief's Thirsty first for 4, which doesn't quite work. So I think we go Tracker here. Gets a power up the chariot. And uh gets a copy of this token here, which is bad. They scoop on that. Okay. Funky little deck. I had fun playing against it. I was curious to see where it was gonna go. Alright. Let's do this. Up against Rinse Wind. Swamp go. Here comes the underdog. We're going to need a little bit more land, running 26 land in this deck. Underdog versus underdog. Okay. Are we trading? I guess that's fine. They take it. Okay, that's pretty good for us. We'll take double black here, I think. Set up for Soren next turn. If we hit that land. No blocks for the aggressor currently. Land. Epicure. Okay. Vaulted Surge. Sack the blood token. No, they don't have red for that. Eaten alive. Okay. Didn't hit the land. Probably just drop another adversary here. We're still the aggressor at this point. We'll see if the uh, script flips. Opponent has stick just from the blood token. No one mana instant black removal that can hit us here. Down to 13. At some point, if they don't remove our creatures, we turn the corner with double blood chiefs and really get them low. Fable. Okay. Good blood chief target. Do nothing. All right, well... I wonder if they block. Do we take out the second one? I think so. We don't want them to get the treasure. Alright. Opponent drops down to five. Discard two. Discard Meadow Masker, by the way. Not enough mana. I'm glad we took... Um, they could have gone land, attack with the treasure generator, and then uh, minus three masker. Harvester, they have to stall a little bit longer. We don't have any removal left. Stuck on land as well. Eaten alive. Okay, we got one creature left now. Could see a voltage surge soon. Nice, that's a good draw. We'll play Soren after combat. When it goes down to one, we now have a flyer. Alright, let's see it, opponent. Two removal spells. They get to dig. Oh, they didn't use the blood token. That must mean they already have an answer. That must mean they have land massacre right now. You'd think otherwise they would have cycled with the blood token to look for an answer. Did the dispute? Okay, they want two draws. Interesting. There's not that much mana left. They have to address both the trampler and the flyer. Two life is not enough. Let's see if we got there or not. They have three mana left. Voltage Surge does one of them. Eaten Alive could do the other. Okay. Managed to get there. Sweet. That is a bad hand. That's a little better. I'll draw with a third land. Maybe Takanuma. Save it for later. Okay. Boros it is. Let's see if we can stabilize quickly. Not a great start. No blockers. Yeah, Bloodthirsty comes in as a 3-3. I think we used Blood Chief's Thirst this turn. And we have the Curtain too. That feels good. Makes it feel like less of a wasted turn. 
Zero four blocker acquired. Okay, here they come. Take the block, use one of the removal spells. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. They want to burn play with fire here. Yeah, no problem. Um, one fewer thing to deal with the chariot, which is an actual issue for them. Luminarch after combat. Okay, this is not the worst outcome we've ever seen. Get the chariot going. Next turn, maybe chariot lolt if we get lucky, hit a land. End here. Now, we may not power up the chariot to block. Um, that we don't want to lose. We don't care about the curtain. Initiate, sure. Aspirants. Let's see where they put the counters. Ooh, are they gonna attack? Oh, that's great. No blocks. Take four down to 12. Can we get a land here? Come on, baby. No, backup chariot though is actually also pretty good. They're not gonna kill it though. So I guess we can go like this instead. Only one blocker back. I think we get in there. When it drops to 12. At some point we chump block some of these cats off and um, keep pushing through damage. Thundering Raiju. Yep, more damage coming through. Oh, they want to get the Aspirants in there too. Everyone's coming in this turn. Leave one back. I hope they go all in. Is this lethal anyway? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Lethal away. Alright, let's do this. Hive on one. We can start here. It's fine. Well, if we curve out, we're going to be great. Just need some more land. Professor, that's fun. Don't see a lot of that these days. Sciences, okay. Here comes the underdog. Portable hole, okay. We can besiege you that, actually. Probably need to hit our land drops, but we could. Take two. Land. Tap land, though. Ooh. Probably uh, do this now, anyway. Take the tracker here. We're also tight on double black for Loth, but we'll get there. Tap land of the opponent as well. Do nothing. Okay. Well, we'll attack here first, see what happens. Get in there with Vigilance. Vanishing Verse, sure. Drop one of our adversaries. Tap land. Set up for a Chariot next turn. Right of Oblivion, okay. Sure. Good amount of value. Chariot's also a lot of value, though. Restoration of a Ganjo. Okay. Opponent is getting low on cards. We definitely got our work cut out for us, though. That's nice. Hit that second black mana source. Well, if we play Ren now, play Chariot now, Loth might be our best bet. They can't get rid of everything at once. They can't hive it down. Um, so they have to write Oblivion the portable hole. Let's do this instead. I would like to keep the chariot if possible, because given all the tokens around here, chariot can put in a lot of work. Looks like they're going to ramp here. Oh, they get back Professor. Hmm. They get Annihilation. Less than an Annihilation. P Prophecy. Okay, they're going to take a turn to draw. That's fine. Field of Ruin. Hmm. Sanctuary Warden. Yikes. 
Well. A lot of chariots. So we drop Ren in seven. Try to defend it. We can't really, though. No attacks. So what are they going to do this turn? They can just write Oblivion away the token, or they can write Oblivion away... They probably write Oblivion away the uh, token and attack all. That doesn't quite get there. Vanishing Burst. Okay, they use that there. Yeah, we're toast, man. Too much value. So how do we get out of this? A big adversary can actually tangle with the Warden. It needs to be quite big, though. Man, if they take that counter off, do we trade? That's an interesting question. They're thinking about it. They take it off. If we just wait one more turn, we're okay, right? We just need a little more lands. I don't think we I don't think we take I think we take five. Whew. And we have the chariot, right? If we hit land, then we're really good. We don't hit lands. We do have chariot though. No attacks. End here. We really wanted to hit land that turn. Let's see if they have removal for the tree anyway. Scry 2, draw a card. We at least want to attack with one chariot. Two to the bottom, that's good. Um, to copy the uh, tree folk. Okay. Alright, my turn. Survived. Well, we really want to attack with the chariot, I think. We have to land anyway, though. I think we feel good here. You're pretty big as well. I think that's good. We get him with you? What does that mean? We get a copy off. We don't have to. Yeah, let's do it. We have another chariot next turn. Okay, they feel to ruin the lair. That's fine. Yeah, green's fine, I guess. I guess we want more black. Doesn't really matter. Green's fine. Bosiju, okay. Cherry goes down. We get the effect off, though. We have backup chariot ready to go next turn. That's it. Wow. Interesting turn. Um, I guess we'll take this draw. No, we can wait. Interesting. They did not kill anything. Attack all. I think that implies a sweeper. Or another warder, maybe. So if it's Massacre, they have six mana anyway. So I think we're taking some blocks here. I think this is a Meat Hook Massacre right here. They don't run Blood on the Snow. And they have enough mana to sweep the entire board anyway. Yep, Meat Hook Massacre for six. We'll take our draw now. We knew that was coming, but they did find the answer.
Well, the opponent is out of gas. What's the best way to use our mana? Probably just drop another chariot. Make up a deal with that again. And here. Next turn, drop an adversary pumped up. Okay, that's interesting. Farmhand. Means they cannot power up... Do they have planes left in the deck? That matters because that allows them to power up the hive to block. They do, sadly. Well, we don't really want to throw away the chariot if we can help it. Tap land, okay. Um... Yeah, we don't actually want to throw away the chariot here. So let's go tracker um, plus underdog. Mm. Man, do we throw the chariot into them? I don't think so. I think we hold here. No attacks, and... We'd love some Infernal Grasp. Just a little bit of instant speed removal. Even just um, Blood Chief's Thirst. I definitely want to get in with the Underdog, though, because um, that can grind them out, potentially. Takanuma, wow, okay. Okay, so then get back their 6-6 guy. They have enough mana to play it. Here it comes. Wow painful okay we need to top deck another ren didn't get there i wonder if we throw the underdog into them just to draw start the draw here i guess not what we needed to see at all We need you to die. If they're smart, they'll just take it all. Yeah, they do. Okay. I guess we drop you. We're digging for an answer, though. We have to hit Ren and 7 or we lose. The clock is ticking. Two attackers. Yep, they start to close out the game. Have to hit Ren and Seven. Got two turns to do it. And then we're counting on no removal for it. They take one draw. Interesting. It is defenseless now. We can hit it with Inferno Grasp. Does that mean they have a backup? Wandering Emperor. Okay. Why? Because they want to counter? Make it a one-turn clock? Yep, okay. Well, we have to draw into it right now. Or we lose the game. Meat hook for four. Is that game? Good game. Damn. Yeah, that was a struggle. Um, Needed more Ren to get through that game. But opponents managed to get there. I'll give him credit for that. Oh, we have one life left. What happens if we hit Ren now? Now we just lose. Oh, we hit it anyway. That's so sad. Um, there's no way to do it, right? Because they just power up their hives and win anyway. Yeah, there's no way to do it. It's over. It's over. I can't believe we hit it. Wow, if they didn't have Meteor Master, we'd actually be in this game right now. Sure. Okay. Power up both hives, and uh, that's the game. Yeah. Damn, so close to getting there. All right, I think that's it for today's boys. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.